Using the ASPX Grid View, it's possible to filter data by using the built-in filter editor or applying a filter via code. So let's get started. I'll start with an ASP.NET application that has an ASPX grid view control bound to an access data source. The access data source is bound to the departments table of the departments.mdp sample database. For the purposes of this example, I'd like to apply a filter that selects departments whose budget is greater than 100,000 and that are located in Monterey. First, let's see how you can create and apply these filters at runtime using the built-in filter editor control. I need to enable the filter bar so that the editor can be invoked at runtime. I select the grid control, expand its settings property, and set the show filter bar property to visible. I run the application. I click on the create filter link to invoke the filter builder. Let's add a new condition to display records which have a budget greater than 100,000. I add another filter to only display departments that are located in Monterey. Click on OK. You can see that the grid has been updated accordingly and that the filter conditions have been applied to the grid view. Let's close Internet Explorer and return to Visual Studio. I'd like to set the filter conditions using code. Switch to code view. And within the page's load event, I set the ASPX grid view's filter expression. I'll use the same criteria as before. Finally, I set the settings text dot title property of the grid control to display the filter expression. Now I need to enable the title panel of the grid. To do this, I switch to design view and select the grid control and set its settings dot show title panel property to true. And I'm done. I run the application again to see the results. You can see that the filter criteria have been automatically applied to the grid and the filter condition is also displayed within the title panel. For more information, please refer to the ASPX Grid View documentation. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.